Hey, y'all. So this week we're talking about the leukocyte um, article that we read, um, and I was very confused while reading it. It was very hard for me to read and comprehend. Um, so here's kind of what I got out of it. So um, our ability to, to produce um, BNT cells um, just slow down, and we don't produce as many as we did when we were younger. Um, which kind of makes sense because our body's um, systems are just slowing down um, as age kind of, it's kind of common sense um, what that makes sense. Um, and so it's not that we stop producing them, but it just, um, we don't produce as many anymore. Um, and then this affects our health um, because, um, so the B and T cells are the ones that kill off the antigens and make antibodies um, for um, the next time those antigens are present in the body and they can fight them off and kill them off quicker next time and without even showing like a like a like a physical um, symptom response from that um, and so those are what the memory B cells um, make those antigens for the next time and the T cells are the ones that kill off the antigens. Um, so this affects our health as we age because it takes us longer to get better after being sick um, because we don't have the, as many of those um, memory B cells and we don't have as many of those T cells trying to k kill off all those um, uh, antigens. And then uh, so some of the things that you would see in older people um, with their immune system would be um, that they that they are very susceptible to um, different um, antigens. So, like you know, flu season um, in nursing homes, it seems like if one person gets it, the whole building gets it. So, um, it just means that they are more likely to contract something um, than say a younger person because their um, immune system isn't as strong because of the lacking of um, B and T cells. So, guys.